Please, Belinda says, please, can you explain the difference between vocal fold compression and constriction? When I hear screaming, it sounds to me like the vocal cords are suffering. How do you avoid harm in the cords by beginners? If they scream without support, won't they harm their voices? Ah, what a great question. Thanks for that question. It sets me up to like explain something that's super cool. All right, Belinda. First of all, the difference between vocal fold compression and constriction. Well, compression is the measurement of force on vocal fold adduction. Left vocal fold, right vocal fold, you bring them together. I have a lot of compression. I have light compression. That's all. Compression is just sort of a scientific -y word for vocal fold closure, vocal fold adduction. All right? And then Belinda goes on to say, basically, I'm going to paraphrase. Um, you know, I hear you and I hear other singers and students singing with vocal distortion. How do you how do you do that? Because it sounds like it's hurting. Sounds like the vocal distortion is hurting your voice. So, by the way, Belinda is a classical singer. She comes a little bit from the classical world. So this whole contemporary ideas like distortion and stuff are new to her. So that's one reason why that would be confusing because traditionally classical sing classical coaches in that world are going to go, oh, no, no, can't do distortion. No, I can't do that. That's going to hurt you all the time. All right. So here's the deal. Belinda, truth of the matter is there are ways to distort the voice that are unhealthy absolutely indeed and they typically involve grinding the tissue it's all the things that you're concerned about right but in the last mm, gosh i'd say about 10 years or so there are new techniques that are rolling out that are now available to singers some of those techniques are available in my course in my book all right vocal distortion techniques and there's another vocal distortion course that will be probably publishing in the next day or two with my partner Draven Gay. Me and Draven work together to do a vocal distortion course. Actually it's mostly Draven's course but I was invited to add some of my my distortion techniques in it. So we've got really great vocal distortion courses coming. But anyways, I guess that's sort of the point. These days vocal distortion can be trained. Healthy Vocal distortion can be trained. Unhealthy vocal distortion involves constricting, squeezing, tissue grinding. Healthier vocal distortion is making noise in the upper vocal tract. All right, so we have the vocal folds here, and we have the upper vocal tract, okay, right above the vocal folds. And when you break up the fractal synergy, the fractal geometry of a nice, clean, tuned vowel, when you break that up, when you disrupt that by adding noise above the vocal folds, you get distortion. Now to the ear, to the untrained ear, it sounds like it's painful. It sounds like it's, it sounds like tissue grinding distortion because the ear can't really well, my ears can tell, a teacher can tell. Somebody who trains this kind of distortion can certainly tell whether it's the healthy kind or not the healthy kind. But somebody who doesn't have experience with it won't be able to know. But isn't that the point? Distortion is a vocal effect. It's, 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 its purpose is to be an illusion. When you, It's the illusion that I'm grinding tissue. It's the illusion that I'm hurting myself and giving it all I got and giving you the you know all the blood to get the note out. Fine. Let the audience think that. That's perfectly fine. It makes it even more amazing than what than, than, than what it actually is. But the truth is the distortion that I use when I sing or distortion that any good singer uses consistently over and over and over again through the years or what Draven and I are teaching in our upcoming distortion course, this is healthy. And I really mean it when I tell you, I can do distortion, certain kinds of distortion all day long, and it won't make me tired. Why? Because it's not the tissue, it's not tissue grinding. It's just noise. It's just spit. 
and a disruption of the of the um, sound energy in the upper vocal tract. It's benign. It's wind and spit. Okay, and so 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 I'm not really hurting myself. It sounds like maybe I am, but I'm not. And that's one of the things that makes distortion super cool. Okay, and the techniques. Um, but you know, training distortion is sort of an advanced thing. It's not something that we recommend for beginners. You want to learn how to warm up, learn how to get into cry mode, learn how to get registrated through your vocal break and into your head voice, get good, clean, powerful, boomy uh, notes first, and then begin to flirt with adding distortion. Okay? So, short answer is, Belinda, when you hear a lot of contemporary singers and coaches, so just you know, famous people or someone like myself or Draven or whatever doing distortion, it's not unhealthy. It's only the illusion that it is. We're not grinding tissue or squeezing hard on something. That's not what's happening. It's a manipulation of the articulators to create a disruption of the resonance or sound energy in the upper vocal tract. And I also believe that it includes a little bit of moisture, a little bit of spit, a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of okay, through the vocal folds. All of this conspires to create cool vocal distortion. Um, in my program, um, there are three kinds of distortion. There is the uncompressed overlay distortion, there's the compressed overlay distortion technique, and then there's the extreme scream distortion, just sort of the screamo stuff um, on an inhale. All right? And if you venture out to the course that Draven and I are publishing in the next few days, um, from what I hear, um, Draven's presenting a whole bunch of other additional distortion techniques. So if you want distortion, uh, you probably got the best course on the planet coming on live any day now. All right. Cool, Belinda. Good question, Belinda. That's an important question. <laughs>